Are you acting a little bit erratic recently? Maybe you're a little bit up and down, a little bit emotional, or maybe just flipping out at somebody for no real reason? Well, it could be that you're suffering from burnout. In this video, I wanna talk about the signs of burnout and how you can catch it early, so you don't just go off the rails completely. Watch this video to learn more. Willpower fatigue and burnout are really big problems for us. If we're trying to form a new habit or we're trying to complete a big project and we're just trying to push through on something that's taking a long time to complete. If we completely burn out, that's gonna put the whole project in jeopardy. So when we're suffering from willpower fatigue, there are two main big categories of things that tend to happen, two main telltale signs, if you like. Firstly, our cravings intensify. So we might always want a chocolate cake if it's right next to us, but when we're suffering from willpower fatigue, when we're burnt out, we really want that. It's really hard for us to resist. The normal cravings are just amplified many times over. The second sign of willpower depletion or burnout is when we just kind of get a little bit hyper emotional, way more emotional than we usually are. So maybe it's a situation whereby you're flipping out at somebody where you wouldn't usually flip out at somebody or if you get extra sad when you watch a sad film, or even the opposite is true as well. You can be extra happy or extra joyous. We just have much less ability to control our emotions, much less ability than we usually do. So let's go through some practical examples of this. So if you're struggling to make decisions like you would usually be able to, so let's say usually a very logical, very rational person, and you can think through problems and come up with a good solution usually, if you're suffering from burnout, then that might not be the case anymore. You might have like a clouded sense of judgment and you might just find it really, really hard to analyze the situation and figure out what the best answer is. The second common telltale sign is that you just have extra resistance to things that you would usually be able to do. So for instance, let's say you've always been going to the gym three times a week, but now you really find it difficult to make yourself go. You just have that extra resistance built up before you have to go to the gym. You can't really figure out why. Well, it could be that you're suffering a little bit from burnout. Another common sign is if you give up earlier or show a lack of persistence than what you would usually have. So again, if you're at the gym and you usually do five sets, but this time you only manage to do three and no matter what you do, no matter what you say to yourself, you can't really get yourself to do those extra two sets, but it's usually no problem for you. This could be a telltale sign that you're suffering from fatigue and burnout. Another example of this might be that if you're doing a daily meditation practice of 20 minutes or 30 minutes or whatever, but at the moment, right now, you're finding it really, really hard just to even get halfway through before you're just completely distracted and you want to stop and, and that's it, you just can't complete it. This is another sign that you have some kind of burnout or willpower fatigue. Another reason why I wanted to talk about this is because what I call the projection problem, right? So sometimes we're working on a project and we've been working on it for a long period of time and we realize that we're just not really into it very much at the moment. We're not very involved. We are getting a little bit distressed, a little bit emotional, perhaps other areas of our life are starting to fall apart or crumble a little bit because we're lacking that willpower but we don't realize that it's willpower. Instead, we think, oh, this, this work that I'm doing or this project must not be right for me. It must be that I'm doing the wrong thing. It must be that I need to try something else because this clearly isn't working because if this was the right project, then I wouldn't feel like this. Our tendency to project this negativity onto the work we're doing can sometimes lead us to say, okay, this isn't right for me. I'm gonna close this project and start something else only for the same thing to happen all over again. So what I'm saying is if you're feeling bad about your work, if you're feeling like you're a little bit more emotional or you're reacting quite negatively or you're not feeling great, then don't immediately jump to the conclusion that the work is bad or that your project is bad or that you need to start something else or work in a different area. Instead, think that, okay, maybe I've been pushing it a little bit too hard recently and I just need to get some rest. Maybe I'm just suffering from burnout. So the next obvious question is, if you are suffering from burnout, what should you do about it? Well, there's three main ways that you can restore your willpower. The first one is the most obvious one, and that is sleep is one of the best ways in which you can kind of restore this psychic energy that you have and restore your willpower. So get a good night's sleep and come back to it fresh early in the morning and see how you feel then. The second thing is glucose. There seems to be a very strong link between glucose in the blood, so the amount of glucose in your bloodstream, 
and your willpower levels. So that's the second thing is to make sure you're eating well, get a good meal inside you, a nice healthy meal. Remember, glucose doesn't necessarily mean it has to be sugary. So I'd especially recommend eating low GI foods because that's converted to glucose at a slower, more steady rate for more constant energy to your brain. And that should help replenish your willpower. The third point is to surround yourself by plants. I know this sounds pretty wacky, but it's called attention restoration theory and there's been a bunch of science about this, specifically looking at the effects of having greenery around the office and how that helps willpower levels of people that are working there. So go for a walk, get out into the forest, go for a mountain trek or whatever, just get out into nature and apparently that will help you restore your willpower level. We have to remember that our brain is kind of like a muscle and in the same way that we can't just keep pushing it really hard down the gym, we can't just keep doing rep after rep, eventually we get tired, our muscles get tired. Our brain is like that. We tend to think that with our brain it's somehow different, that we can just focus harder or just keep putting in the hours, but in the end, your brain will get tired. And that's when willpower fatigue and burnout sets in. So in summary, if you're smashing it really, really hard and you're feeling a little bit emotional and you're feeling like there's lots of cravings going on for chocolate cake or you want that coffee that you've been giving up or there's all sorts of other strange things going on, you can't finish your workouts or you can't even make yourself go to the gym in the first place, then possibly you're suffering from burnout and what you need to do is just take a step back, right? Catch it early, don't force it, take a step back, get some sleep, get some glucose, go out into nature and restore your willpower levels and you'll be all the better for it. Hope you found this video useful. If you did, give me a like, subscribe to my channel. I'm not sure why I'm pointing up there. I'll see you next time.